Hi everyone, welcome to another video. This one is gonna be quite different to all my other videos. It is not quite a diecast review. It's gonna be my opinion about uh, this weekend's, basically yesterday's Belgian Grand Prix. I have selected three models, which uh, I'm gonna have it on display during the video. I'm only gonna talk basically. In the comment section you can guess why I have selected these three models. It's not quite rocket science, anyway. So, as we know, what happened? Qualify, yes, wet as hell. Circumstances are quite challenging. Anyway, let's go over that. Qualifying happened, then race day. Oh my god, what is just happened there? Um, I've never quite seen a race like that one. Even the 2005 uh, US Grand Prix was more exciting than, than this one. Basically no racing has happened as we all know. Uh, my opinion about this, one of you has asked, have asked um, in the comment section in the previous video what do I think about Belgian Grand Prix and that, that comment just made me think that I actually make a video about my opinion if you're interested if not you can just click this video away so I don't know what to say really I don't think there is a fair option to everyone because if you think about like George Russell he had his best qualifying ever and especially with that car in the Williams this is just like an unbelievable performance and um, I don't think it would have been fair on him that the race would have been just cancelled like he don't even have a chance to start from that position and uh, who knows if he ever will have because by the looks of it Mercedes does not want to promote him or we just don't know if if he will get promoted anyway um, it, 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 it's a massive effort from him to qualify on P2 and I'm quite happy that he's, he's got a trophy for the second place. But on the other hand, he didn't have to do anything for it. So, yeah. Verstappen won the race. I quite like Verstappen. I'm, I'm a fan of him. But, again, it's just a victory which, which he's got for, like, he didn't have to do anything for it. And many complaints being by Hamilton fans that he had no chance to do anything he just lost five points well on the other hand if you think about it Verstappen gained five points but he couldn't do anything either to gain more than five points so it's like pros and cons on both sides so if let's say Verstappen would win the Belgian Grand Prix with normal circumstances in the best case scenario for Hamilton uh, he would lose seven points if he's second. So, um, so from Verstappen's point of view, it still could be better, even though he gained five points. But there is one le one race less to gain points. So, yeah, pros and cons everywhere. About fans' point of view, yeah, it's another tough one. So, if if someone's got like a weekend ticket. They must have had a pretty good show on Saturday, if you think about it. But they paid for the whole weekend. And obviously the main bit of the weekend is Sunday's race. Um, yeah, they haven't got anything for that, really. They, they were just there, like, getting soaked. Probably it was quite cold as well. And they've been there for absolutely no reasons. I mean, if you've ever been to a Grand Prix weekend... You know that uh, it's quite, it, it's it's an awesome feeling just to be there, just like to be with all the fans, to see like all the merch and everything that you can buy on track side, and even just to see the track. I mean, if you are an, an enthusiast like myself, I consider myself a massive F1 fan. Even just to walk around an empty track, like once I've been to Donington Park. It was, it was unbelievable. Like, 
it's it's just nice to be there even with no cars on the track so so yeah you you like kind of getting something but you went there for the race it's not fair that you pay a full price and you get like pretty much nothing so yeah i think it would be only fair as lewis hamilton said it very well they should get their money back i agree with that like maybe even if not the full money at least like 50 percent of it if not more so yeah i don't think it would be like a really good option to put the race on monday because um if you think about it sunday is the day when most people don't work so let's say like there was like 70,000 people there out of that 70,000 how many of them would be able to go on, on a day after so yeah if you consider that it 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 would have been another problem for loads of people and especially for people who traveled there to Belgium from like a different country and they've got like their return ticket already for the day after or something so yeah it's it's a mo it's it's a lot more complicated if you think about it it's not just about like all right okay race is going to be on another day for us who are following from the telly yeah that probably that would have been the best option but for everyone else it isn't really so i don't think there would have been like a perfect scenario um yeah uh, so many people said so many fans said like people and uh, drivers were racing in the 80s and 70s they they were racing in every in every circumstances but on the other hand yeah how many drivers died on track for no reason so <laughs> we could say like yes they could go racing and we'll see what happens they can always slow down or like Niki Lauda did in 76 on the Japanese Grand Prix, they can always say, okay, I'm not racing today. But would you make that decision? You know, if you were in a fight for the championship title, you would say like, all right, okay, I give it a go. I, I know he lost the championship like that. And I think he was pretty wise to make that decision. But I think both Verstappen and Hamilton would, would start the race if if they should have. So, I don't know. They should start or not. Put your, put your opinion in the comment section. I think they made the right decision not to start the race. But I really wanted to see the race. So, I can't really, I can't really say which would be a better option. But if they just cancel the whole race without any points would that be better i don't know again it's it's a very complex thing yeah anyway um it's basically that was my short opinion about this situation uh, if you see these cars here let's put a quick comment on those so what have they achieved on belgian grand prix jensen buttons 2016 car Frenton's car from 2000 and uh, Gerhard Berger's Ferrari from uh, 95. Not much uh, they achieved on Belgian Grand Prix. So in 2016, Button had a DNF, he didn't finish the race. Also, same with Berger in 95, he didn't finish. Heinz Harald Frenton, he finished sixth, which at that time. Uh, he scored one point one point with the uh, with sixth place so yeah i guess he could do a bit more as well he could achieve a bit more in 99 he finished third in the constructed in the drivers championship so um anyway um yeah just uh, just put in the comment section why have i selected these three guys again it's quite easy to guess uh, thanks for watching and um, see you in my next video very soon. Thank you very much. See you later guys